Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, buckle in f for some real bullshit, guys. Check this out. Now guys, I try to not swear in my videos, but guys, every now and then something just comes along that pisses me off, all right, guys? And we all know that fathers have, like, no rights in this country at all, okay? Is it bad enough men to have any rights? But once you become a father, between paternity court, family court, you know, all you do is just get railroaded, right? And it's just, and this, this weird, anyone who realizes this, it's like one of the ultimate red pill things because everyone else is like, I don't think that that's true. It means you just fight for their kids, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's like, how do people not know this, right? It's crazy. So guys, we have a case here of a guy and his ex-girlfriend, ex-wife or whatever had a baby and she gave the baby away for adoption from underneath him. He's been fighting to get his kid back for over five years. Absolute clown world. So guys, we're going to get into this. But before we do, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. Hit the notification bell and then check the, the community tabs for the lives. All right, you guys, let's just jump into this for his daughter after an adoption agency took her away just two days after she was born without his knowledge or his consent. Yeah, for, re for years, court records confirm his desire since day one to raise his daughter. Tonight, I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern looks at the battle unwed fathers can face over parental rights, who determines what's best for a child, and the Florida laws that allow this to happen. Okay, this you guys, this is Florida. A red state. So imagine how bad it is in California, New York, and Washington State, and Oregon, where they're blue states. You know what I mean? It's my daughter's room. This has uh, been her room since she was a newborn baby. Ulysses Carwise prepared a room for his daughter, his little girl, who may never come home. Books I was going to read, spot loves. And... The bed unused, closet empty. We end up giving most of the stuff away because she outgrew it. The baby he loved from the day she was born. I'm her father, her real father. I'm not trying to adopt my, uh, I'm her father. Is now five years old. Different. Five years old. And do you guys see, I said he has a house, he's gainfully employed, he has his uniform on, you know what I mean? He has his, his lanyards, so this guy's not a bum. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy who works. He's a hardworking dude. You know, it looks like he works for the county. He's, he's got a pension plan, health insurance, and he can't get his kid. Clown world. Right here, let me see this. This one is the baby pictures. In the hospital, the baby tested positive for cocaine. Oh Her God. mother, Nikita Adkins, was using drugs, according to documents from the Florida Department of Children and Families. Carwise wanted the baby to come back home with him but not Adkins. So I went back to Nikki, I said, where the baby at? And she said, well, I'll put the baby up for adoption because I was angry at you, she said. And I said, you did what? Carwise told DCF he wanted his daughter, but the 35-year Hillsborough County School Board employee needed to prove he was the father because he and Adkins weren't married. When the test came back, they said it was 9.5, 99, something like that. The baby was mine. I said, okay, well, it's over then. Thinking that's it. That's it. It wasn't. The fight for his daughter is still going on. Isn't that crazy, guys? Now think about, about this. He, he couldn't get the custody because, wait, because he wasn't married to her, right? So, so you have to get married and put yourself at risk of someone divorcing you and taking half of everything you have just to have some legal claim to your own child. Think about that for a second, guys. Think about how crazy that is. Just give me my child. I've been saying that the whole time I've been going to court. Give me my child. I don't need y'all help. Give me my child. And they won't listen. The adoption agency, Bethany Christian Services, and prospective adoptive parents, referred to only as Katrina and William Doe in court records, took Carwise to court in Orange County to terminate his parental rights, arguing that he had abandoned his daughter what? because he did not financially support what? her while she was not in his custody. After the trial, it took the court nearly a year to rule. His rights were not terminated, 
But Carwise's daughter stayed with Katrina and William. So his rights, they weren't terminated. So the judge ruled in his favor and he still can't see his kid. That is crazy. While they filed an appeal, as months turned into years, his little girl grew more attached to the only family and home she knew. And now she thinks they are her parents. The couple that wants to adopt her call her by a different name. He wishes she could call him dad. All she know is I'm Mr. Ulysses and I say her nice oh, self. Man, guys, that breaks my heart, man. He calls him Mr. U Ulysses <clears throat> and that, this is her dad. Guys, this is why we can't believe this deadbeat dad uh, media narrative, man. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time, it's BS. It's a guy who wants to see his kid, but then the the a baby mom is a horrible ex ex excuse for a person. She's barring entry or does something like this where he can't see his kid. That's it. Initially, Carwise had <clears throat> in-person visits every week at an Orlando mall. Wow. Okay, this one. Hill is doing Easter. Those in-person visits stopped at the start of the pandemic. Oh, For man. the past three years, he has not touched his daughter, seeing her once a week on a Zoom screen. The adoption agency, Bethany Christian, told us, for the confidentiality and privacy of our clients and families, it is not able to speak about this ongoing case. That's my family. That is my child. They're not saving no child. They, they are harming a child. The prospective adoptive parents filed a new lawsuit in Hillsborough County. It's, it's all over again. And it's... Another petition to terminate his parental rights. Dang. It, it's just getting difficult. Okay? It's getting real hard. Look at that, man. Carwise overwhelmed with emotion. Look at that, you guys. This poor guy, man. Look at that. Guys, there's probably some scumbag women that, that this video is going to come across that are going to say, oh, I don't feel anything for him, blah, blah. He should have. You know what? If you don't feel for this guy, you aren't a human being. How about, how about that? Ocean. That's the first time that hit me hard. Because I've been like fighting these people, fighting these people. And they... May it please the court, I'm Jeannie Tate. Jeannie Tate, a longtime adoption attorney based in Tampa, is representing the prospective adoptive parents. She opened a private adoption agency in 2001, Heart of Adoptions. This is Kylie McGivern. I'm a reporter with ABC Action News. We contacted Tate by phone and email, and she responded in a voicemail and email that although she would like to comment, Florida law prevents her from commenting on the matter or confirming her involvement. One of his younger sisters, Rosalind Green, has stood beside her brother as he fights for his daughter. It's a huge eye opening that the law would allow these people to literally, legally take someone else's child. And there you go. And that's how most women feel. See, most women, they don't believe that any of this stuff is true. They, they don't believe that all of us red pill guys that are saying, look, man, the law, men get screwed over by the law all the time. And it goes in one ear and out the other until it happens to a guy in their life. Until their father's going through this, their, their new husband, uh... You know, their brother, their cousin, their uncle, their son. Then all of a sudden it's, oh my God, the system's not fair. You know what I mean? Carwise plans to live in Green's house when he gets custody of his daughter. He has the support that he needs to take care of this child. Including the support of his 26-year-old daughter, who he raised as a single father. What gives you all hope to continue moving forward? I want my niece to know that we didn't give her up and that we're here to fight for her. I couldn't believe, you know, that he, he's still fighting. The fact that it's gone on this long and something hasn't been done to give him his child is just, I think, a travesty. David Velez is Carwise's former court-appointed attorney from the original case in Orange County. And they were doing everything imaginable to just keep him from getting his child which they continue parents to do today. That's they would say, crazy, well, he doesn't man. really have a relationship. Well, you're not giving him the opportunity to build a relationship with the child. And it's not for a lack of him trying. Something has to be done, because it's, it's been an injustice what's been done to him. 
Well, everybody should care about because it, 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 it could happen to anybody. And, and that's true, guys. Online now. That is true. This can happen to anyone. Matter of fact, guys, I know a guy that this happened to where his son got adopted out from underneath him the same way, guys. And you know what? I, you know what, guys? I'm going to do an interview with this guy. Because a friend of mine, he went through the same thing. Except they actually terminated his parental rights. So, guys, be on the lookout for that interview. I'm going to do this soon. So... We've included more information about the putative father registry in this story for unmarried birth fathers. That's at abcactionnews.com. In Tampa, with photojournalist Randy Wright, I'm I team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. So guys, let me know what you think. I mean, this guy wanted his kid. The you know, crackhead mom adopted the baby straight out from under him. He's, he's been fighting ever since. Five years now. Guys, let me know what you would do in this case. Let me know if you think that this is fair and let me know if you know anyone or if you've gone through something just like this. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. I appreciate your support. I'm out of here. Have a good one, guys.